few days ago, I uploaded my car edit on Instagram, and a lot of you asked for a tutorial on different parts of the edit. So don't worry, because your superhero is here. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I made this newspaper transition. Stay with me if you want to learn how I did it in After Effects. I will also share a link in the description where you can download the entire project completely free. So let's begin. First, you need to find some cool clips to edit. The clips I used are from this guy who actually has tons of great and free footage you can use. I've put a link in the description to his pay hip so you can download the footage for free. In this example, I'm going to use the newspaper transition to move from this clip to the next one. The first thing you need to do is move to the last frame of your first clip and press Ctrl-Alt-S to save the frame. In the render queue, change the output module to PNG sequence. Also, make sure you are rendering in the highest quality. Then rename the frame to anything you want and press render to export it as a PNG. Repeat this process with the first frame of your second clip to save it as a PNG as well. Next, create a new composition, set the width and height to 5000, and click OK. The next step is to go to Google and search for a newspaper to use as a reference. Obviously, you're not a newspaper designer, and if you try to create something on your own, you might end up with your chemistry teacher's PowerPoint. I found this and I think it's cool enough for me, so just download it to use as a reference. Then, import the image you downloaded and place the part you want to reference into the composition. Now start customizing your newspaper. I ended up with something that looks like this, but if you don't have time to customize your own newspaper, I've added a link in the description for this one as well. So, all you have to do is drag and drop this project into the project window, expand the folder created for you, and select the newspaper composition. No need to waste your time. After opening this composition, you'll see two compositions inside, one called frame 1 and the other frame 2. Just open one of the compositions and import your saved frames. Then, open the other composition and paste the second frame you saved. And there you have it. Next, import the newspaper composition into your project and place it where you want your transition to begin. Then, enable 3D on the newspaper composition. By the way, if you don't see this option, just click on toggle switches to make it visible. Next, start adjusting the X and Y positions to match the frame in your newspaper with the last frame of your first video. Also, make sure to cut this layer at the beginning of your first layer, since you don't need it after that. I usually use Ctrl-Shift-D to split the layers. Press P on your keyboard to reveal the position of the newspaper and add a keyframe. Move a few frames forward in the timeline and adjust the Z value of the position to create a zoom out effect on the newspaper. Then, move a bit closer to the second clip and adjust the X and Y positions of the newspaper to align it with the second frame you saved. Finally, move to the last frame of the newspaper and adjust the X, Y, and Z values so that the saved frame matches the first frame of your second clip. Now, if you check it back, you'll see that your transition is ready, but it looks stupid as fuck. And the reason for that is because you're using linear keyframes. Rule number one, never use linear keyframes. Just select all the layers and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor and create a curve like this. Well, I forgot to mention, if your curve doesn't look like this, just right-click and make sure Edit Speed Graph is selected. Now, if you watch it after adjusting the keyframes, you'll notice the huge difference that smooth keyframes make. You can then get creative by adding any effects you want to your newspaper. For example, CC Vignette is a great option. Just add it to the layer and tweak the values to achieve your desired result. Also, you obviously don't want the newspaper to suddenly appear out of nowhere. So the next step is to create a flash. What I usually do for a flash effect is create a new adjustment layer and trim it to about 20 frames after the transition begins. Then I add the exposure effect to the adjustment layer. Set the exposure to somewhere around 5 to 7 and add a keyframe. Then move to the end of the adjustment layer and change the value back to 0. Then easy ease those keyframes and create a curve like this. You can see that your flash is now ready but you need to duplicate this layer and add the flash to the beginning of the second clip as well. And congrats, if you check it back, you'll see that you've created a super stunning newspaper transition. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope it was helpful. Fellas, never forget to subscribe Adobe Simplified. See you in the next one. Bye.